Let's do a 2025 print farm tour. Start with the filament wall. This one is like silks and sparkles and metals. It's all the weird kind of filaments we have. Back here, we have a Roy G. Biv rainbow sorted, or assortment of regular kind of PLAs. And then right below that, we've got some like rainbows and gradients and all kinds of stuff going on. And then as far as filament storage goes, I added this rack too. Look at that. I've got like white and black at the top row. Oh, it looks like it got resorted. We got beige and white below that. And then uh, browns and grays are on there too. So that's kind of our filament storage situation. Here, I'll step out of the picture and you can get a, a better view. So this was my old YouTube studio. We repurposed it a couple different times, but the 3D print farm is kind of what we've ended on right now. You can see the printers running. So we've got these two here. I've got about two per muscle rack right now. The ceilings are a little bit shorter, so we couldn't get the taller muscle racks in here, but we've got the two P1Ss there, two more printers up on the top. I've got one on the bottom there too. Uh, and then we've got two more over here. It's a bit of a mess on the rack below it, but. So in total, we had nine down here and then we decided to celebrate TikTok going down <laughs> and we thought it would come back. And so we went and YOLO two more. This one is broken, but this one's been working fine. So uh, the one that's broken, we did by open box. So I gotta try to fix it. That's kind of the print room layout and setup. And then as you come out of the office or the print farm room, we've got all this area here. So this is our shipping and packing station. This, uh, white table right here is our processing area so when i get done printing stuff i just bring it out there and i'll get you a little closer look here here you can see like we have a five pack of animals and we've got four of them in there and the fifth one's finishing up so as they finish i will just drop those into the bag here's some champagne bottles we need to process any keychains on them here's some new turtles we're working on clicker turtles uh and we have like keychain stuff and pliers and wristlets and all kinds of stuff you'd need all just kind of hanging out on this table to make it easier to work and then over here this is like a tv area if the kids want to come down here with their friends and then this is the whole live studio the nice thing is i can turn this tv on when i'm on a live like i've had football on in the background while i'm down here doing a live so we got a little label printer. I gotta get that on the network. Uh, currently I just hook it into my computer when I'm down here. We have the photo box right there. Uh, let's see, what else? We'll come around for a better view of the studio area kind of head on. So here you can see I've got this table with a cloth on it. Uh, I'm getting ready to hook up these spinners right here. So they'll be right in the camera shot. You can see the tripod here. Gives you an idea kind of, I'll probably move it back a little bit, but I need to be able to tap the phone for TikTok comments and that kind of thing. And then we put this Expedit with the lights behind it. We uh, put some gray uh, curtains up to kind of give you a soft, like pillowy feeling behind it. And then over here, we have our photography box so we can take pictures of things. It's got a nice light inside of it. And then over here, we have some of our overflow kind of stock that I can quickly grab when I'm on a live or when we're packing. We actually just ordered some new like sorting bins. Uh, it's like a rolly cart, super tall sorting bin thing. I don't know how else to describe it. Uh, very excited for that. Uh, and then if we need to, we also have overflow where we keep our shipping supplies uh it's a bit messy in here but there's a bunch of boxes here's a bunch of like b grades and freebies and envelopes and pre-built boxes so we got all that stuff kind of ready to go in here so anytime we need to ship we just grab this stuff out bring it out here to this table you can sit down we have like this is all the standard stuff we're putting into packages you can see all these little 
bag so we can have a nice little experience when they open the box. And then for instance, like this one's almost ready to go. It's just missing the sea creatures, which the last one's finishing. So as soon as that finishes, like I'm gonna get that shipped today. So let's pause there and I'll, I'll run upstairs and show you the last little bit. Okay, so we just moved my office in here. This is like my working desk, my gaming desk. We haven't even gotten it set back up yet. But the nice thing about this room is it's got this little like nook that's behind me. So I can make it look really nice on camera. And here you can see Proto Boy. He's the little A1 Mini we bought just to do prototyping on. We can work on 3D prints and I can just like zip it right over to this machine. Um, and I've got like calipers sitting here. And then anytime there's something like I need to measure, like I've been working on something with a little brass insert, I can just like do it right here, get a quick prototype out on that printer and then um, see if I need to iterate on it. And then when I need full size stuff, I can run downstairs and, uh, print it off on a big plate. So for instance, I'll show you this. This was the last prototype I did on the A1 mini for my bookshelf. So this was like printed at 75% size, but it didn't fit on the plate if I went any bigger. So, you know, I run that one downstairs. So that's kind of the 3D print farm tour. If you have any questions or want to know anything or have suggestions on what we should be doing or looking at differently, let me know. Uh, thanks for watching this far into the video. I really appreciate it. If you give me a thumbs up and a subscribe, that would be awesome. And uh, you know, if you're interested, we are gonna do another one of our videos on like how we're doing in January. But seeing as it's like January 22nd, we're not quite done with a month. So I wanna wait till all the numbers are in and we can calculate everything and then give you another monthly breakdown. But thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.